What's the good word, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and uh, go away, you come home, you get a FedEx box. That's how my life works. How's everybody doing? Happy October. Had the chance to uh, get out to the East Coast for a little while. Uh, unfortunately, the timing was such that I missed CTA in San Diego, but Adriana and Aaron were there, and so I hope you enjoyed their coverage. I know I sure did. And, uh, looky here, I come home, and it's a Moto Click. It's the Motorola Click for T-Mobile. They're uh, Motorola's first Android phone. We got uh, some, you know, hands-on preview coverage of this device back uh, when it launched in San Francisco a little while ago. Now we've got a full-on review unit. And, man, oh, man, look at what this came with. A giant reviewer's guide. Sweet. I'll we'll have to check that out later. For now, we're just going to get the thing out of the box and take a look at it. A little first hands-on. Uh, not yet available to the general public. Some early reviews have come out. And uh, I don't think we need this light. This light seems to be getting a little... You can offset the light a little bit there. There we go. Um, general, you know, reviews are out. And, uh, you know, some, some different reviews that I've seen online already kind of mixed coverage about the hardware and the software and what people think of it. But um, Android phone with the Moto Blur uh, social networking oriented widget interface on top. 3G, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Uh, 5 megapixel camera. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Slide down QWERTY board. All your goodness on T-Mobile. In the box. You see what's in the box there. Let's find out what's in the box though. Press to open. I'm pressing, and uh, what's uh, what's happening here? I pressed. Something's supposed to happen. Did I not press the right way? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it came out. So here's the phone itself. We'll get back to that in a second. Also in the box, you get the back battery cover because the phone is open. 2 gigabyte card uh, in the device. Also, there's my SIM card. You also get stereo headset, standard 3.5 millimeter. Uh, looks like it has an inline uh, microphone. Is there? I don't think there's a remote control on there. Doesn't feel like it. Oh, yeah, it clicks. Oh, yeah. Microphone remote control. Your little uh, foamies for the earbuds. Uh, USB to micro USB cable. Here's the charger USB base, so you just plug that into your uh, your USB data cable. Here's the battery. 1390, well minimum, 1420 typical milliamp hour battery. 3.7 volt. Start guide. All your information. Recycling envelope. Recycle your old phones. I can't stress it enough. Don't let them sit around. Don't throw them in the landfill. Definitely recycle them. So the phone itself. I'm supposed to cut this. I'm not supposed to cut that off. Oh, okay. That's the uh, for pulling the battery out. Pull to remove battery. See, it says it right there on the back. It's hefty. It's uh, it's definitely a solid feeling phone. Even if I got man, I do struggle with the battery covers tonight. So the little overlay here tells you what the buttons are. Menu, home, back, camera, lock and power, volume up and down, ringer on and off. So you've got a rocker switch for volume, a uh, slide switch for ringer on off. Nice to have a dedicated switch. Turn your ringer off when you're at the movies or whatever. I hate it when people talk on their phones in the movies. Um, USB port. On the other side, you've got, I bet it'll tell me what they are, will it? Oh yeah, right in there. 
you've got, uh, that's the lock switch we talked about, there's the camera button, but you've got little icons there that tell you that's kind of cool. On the back, there's your camera sensor, your 3.5mm headphone jack on top, and there you go. It's a, it's a solid phone, it's a heavy phone. Not like, you know, super awful heavy, but definitely like, you know, very kind of solid feeling. And uh, activity setup is not responding. Is that because I opened the keyboard up? Well, let's see. Start. Register a new account, use an existing account. Oh, whoops, I agree. Capacitive touchscreen. You can see I've got 3G access, pretty strong signal, which is good. So create a Moto Blur account. Alright, so my Moto Blur account has been created and uh, I had to use the keyboard there to enter data in. So far, so good. Keyboard has a nice, you know, kind of chiclet style action. Uh, the keys are a little on the small, they're, the keys are a good size. They're in the smaller end of what I consider to be, you know, a good size range, but I think so far it feels like they're big enough. The space bar, the keys on the bottom are double width, which I think is always nice, the space bar in particular. And then these keys are domed, which uh, makes it a little bit easier to get separation between them. I like that there's a D-pad. Uh, when people start making more and more games for Android, which is definitely going to happen, emulators and stuff like that, I think the D-pad will be very handy. And uh, yeah, their response and everything so far so good. So I can set up my uh, existing accounts here. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's set up Facebook. All right, so I've got a few accounts set up now, and I can choose a uh, picture source. Do I want to see people's Facebook, Twitter, or Google's pic Google pictures? So we'll go Facebook for now. That's my preferred. Uh, location consent, yes. Turn the GPS stuff on. Setup is complete. It'll take time to import everything. That's fine. All right, and so already pulling in stuff from Facebook and happenings. Um, it thinks I'm in New York, or I don't know why that says New York, but that's fine, whatever. Oh, there you go. Okay, a little lag there because I was uh, getting things set up. It's cause see, I just I left the East Coast just in time. It was nice when I was there, and then it turned cold and nasty. So I think because, oh, there, okay, there you go. See, there you go, man, Oakland, 64, high 71, sunny. Love it, terrific. Go back home. Lindsay Lohan late for court. Yeah, the balloon boy, that was all a big hoax, apparently. So you've got five home screens on the default setup. Tips and tricks, getting started. I go to status, I'll pull up status from all my contacts via Facebook. And I can go with the D-pad to click through them, which is nice. Oh, and I can pull, can I pull a little tab down? Oh, that's cool. It goes, scrolls through by, uh, by time. History. Amazon MP3 store. Uh, you've got all the regular Google Android stuff. I mean mobile, my fave setup, Shazam, Telenav GPS, Quick Office, YouTube of course. Let's go to news. And in the phone dog feed. Phone feels a little bit warm on the back, right there. Not like hot, hot. Oh, you can see the blur and the little light. That's cool. But it already feels a little tiny bit warm there. Kind of interesting. Although, since I turned it on, it's just been cranking the 3G, trying to sync everything. And 
pulled out my email and my contacts, and I've been using it and stuff. So we'll turn it into uh, portrait mode for a minute. No news feeds on phonedog.com. Hmm. All right, well, let's go back here. And there you go. Now I'm syncing up. I've got new email, standard Android customization. Uh, let's go back. Try another one. Let's try a... Uh, here's the on-screen keyboard, so you can go either way. You can go with the slide-out QWERTY or the on-screen Uh, resistive, or I'm sorry, the capacitive touchscreen feels good. Uh, I'm not sure, I believe it has haptic feedback, but nothing's on right now anyway, so there you go. All right, so here's an RSS feed for ESPN. Not sure why it didn't find phone dogs, but. No recent unread articles, but I do have Facebook and Twitter messages now. And so clicking on Twitter takes me where? My Twitter inbox. So that actually took me to my Twitter. Uh, these are my direct messages, my recent direct messages. And that's fine. There's nothing in there that you shouldn't see. Um, but it's cool. It shows people's icon or, you know, pictures and then uh, their messages and stuff. And uh, go to social settings here. So you get notifications, you get a ringtone, you get to vibrate when you get social messages. That's pretty neat. Little tiny bit of a lag, but I don't really know that it's a lag so much. It's not really a lag, actually. It's just when I scroll, it's not... Yeah, it, it's little tiny bit. It takes it like... I guess it is a little tiny bit of a lag. It takes it a second or a microsecond to respond, but then once, you know, I move my... Once I'm moving, then it was with me. It takes a second to start moving, and then once I'm moving, it was with me. I don't really think it's a big deal. I think it is, you know, uh, the next generation of Android phones with the next generation of chips, uh, chipsets will definitely handle all of these widgets and all this new stuff faster. And then hopefully, you know, Android 1.6 and 2.0 will also be a little more optimized to handle all these cool widgets that the Motorola's and HTC's and other companies of the world are developing. So here's the Happenings thing, the Happenings app. And, uh, just latest, you know, updates. So I got a tweet from Skyfire recently, and John Biggs, Joel Johnson, you know, Facebook, uh, CBS Bay Sunday. I'll be on uh, next week taping another show. Maybe we'll take the click on. So this just goes from Facebook and Twitter. All of my, uh, all of my social media social networks that I've subscribed to show up in the Happenings app. Interesting. All right, there you go. It's a first look. Uh, I'm going to dig into this. I'm very curious to get a little more. You know, I got a preview of Moto Blur when uh, I tried it out at the, mo at the launch event, but I'm very curious to actually dig into this and play around with it for a while and see how it works. Now when I scroll here, do I scroll that way or do I scroll up and down? No, it is side to side. See a little bit of a lag there. And yeah, I did not mean, yeah. All right, so you know, it's still syncing and stuff. We'll give it a little bit of time to catch up to all the syncing and all the initial, you know, you wake up, you get out of bed and uh, you wanna, you know, you need a little time sometimes. Here's the Twitter app. I can set my status and I can post either just to Twitter all services, just to Facebook. Very interesting. All right, we'll let it get caught up, let it wake up, get out of bed, get acclimated to the day, and we'll uh, dive in deeper. But in the meantime, unboxing and first look at the Click, Motorola's first Android phone, the newest Android phone for T-Mobile USA, the Moto Click. It's got the uh, Moto Blur interface on it. It's got the stock Android running on it. It's got the, resist the capacitive touchscreen. It's got the slide-out QWERTY board with the D-pad. It's got the 5 megapixel camera, it's got the 3.5mm headphone jack, it's got uh, Wi-Fi, 3G, and here's what it looks like next to the uh, latest and greatest Android phone to come out right before it, the Hero from HTC and Sprint, and you can see, you know, you add a uh, slide-out QWERTY board on, 
the bottom and you get a little more a little chunkier not too bad screens about the same size um, you know the hero is solid and also still feels relatively lightweight the blur is solid but feels heavier for sure but again you got a full QWERTY board there it's running a little warm though I'm definitely feeling a little warm in the back of my hand all right I'm Noah from Phonog.com much much more on the click coming soon not to mention all the other phones maybe we'll have to do another Android dogfight real soon on Phonog.com and uh, don't forget the one pod bandit, we've been giving away phones, we've given away like I have to check the stats, but I think over fifty phones already this year. We're getting ready for the blitz, man. It's football season, so we're doing the blitz. We're gonna give away a ton of phones between now and the end of two thousand nine. That's gonna be rolling out very shortly. We're still giving away phones now, but the full on blitz will be happening very soon. So stay tuned to phonog.com for that. Till next time I'm Noah, thanks for watching, we'll see you later. Bye bye.